Hi, everybody. Bus old man Phil here, and we're finally getting around to getting back to St. Olaf Church in North Minneapolis in Minnesota to do an organ crawl. We're going to take you through the organ. There were several requests to see this old church organ, and right now it's due for some major maintenance, which is coming up next week. So I'm going to show you a couple of things and a couple of quick fixes on your right is Ed Edstrom, the church organist and musician extraordinaire. And next to him is my good friend Dan Fish, who has a beautiful traditional country band here in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. So we're going to go upstairs now and start the procedure. I hope you enjoy this. Remember, I love comments. Leave comments, comment on the comments, ask questions, and we're gonna have a good time today. Ed, you told me that there was one pipe that kept sticking on, or what they call a cipher. And so, would you show me that note that's sticking on? Sure, that, it's in the solitional rank, which is a string, and it's uh, a C. And when you push it, it's because there's nothing but air blowing out. And now I recall that we did something up there about that. So uh, I'm going to go up there and put that pipe in a position to play, and we'll see what happens. And Dan is going to be my cameraman today. Thank you, Dan. Well, we're getting here. Uh, need to find Dan. There's Dan. All right, turn facing the wall, ah, this wall and put your right foot on that, your right foot, turn facing the wall. Yeah, I'm going to. No, you're, you're facing, your back is to the wall. Well, there's that wall, that wall, and you mean this okay, wall. Okay, the closest wall. Okay. Yeah. Got a Weisenheimer here, but that's okay. And then put your foot. Uh, and don't touch the pipe now. Put your put your left shoulder on this walk board. I am. And your left and your right foot on right. the ledge by the pipes there. And get your hand over here on this part of the walk board. Put your hand there, and now pull yourself up. That moves. No, put your foot, you got your foot in the wrong place if it moves. Your left foot on the floor. Your right foot on the ledge next to the pipe. What ledge? This? Yes. Right next to the base of the pipe. And now pull yourself up. Now climb up on this walk board. Oh, I think I'm this agile. Well, you probably haven't been doing this kind of stuff lately. That's it. Steady? Yep. Yeah, they're made to be. Yeah. Okay. Now you're here. Okay. What? What stop was that, Ed? Okay. So what happened was that solitional pipe. I removed this pipe from its hole because it was playing all the time. I'll put that pipe back in the hole, and you see, it's quiet now. Okay, Ed, play it. And now, play some of the other notes around it. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, now we can identify which pipe is ciphering by holding our hand carefully, sweeping our hand across the top of the pipes without touching the pipes. Because these sleeves you see are what tunes these pipes. So I'm going to go until I hear something that sounds like the pipe that's creating the problem. Want me to hold that? I need to aim it. There it is. I found it. So now if I take this pipe out, you can hear the wind blowing because the valve is stuck open. Okay, Ed, play that note again. Now you hear the full air coming through. He's holding the key down. Okay, Ed. Now this time, when he let up on the key, the valve closed completely. And if I put the pipe back in the hole, you'll notice that. But the next time he goes to play it, it's going to stick open again. So for now, I'm going to leave that pipe out so that he can use this rank of pipes just without that note. And he can couple in another rank that sounds like that one to hide the fact that note is missing. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for now. Now I wanted to explain how you adjust the volume in an organ. And it's not done like an electronic organ, it's done physically with what we call swell shades. You see these louvers? Open the swell shades. Open them, open. That's it. You see these swell shades move? Again, Ed. Now when these shades are closed, close the swell shades, Ed. When they're closed, that chokes off sound to the sanctuary. Just as if you put your hand over your mouth. Okay, this is an air reservoir and these have weights on them and they regulate the air pressure. In this case, you'll see air coming up from a supply pipe and then you see these tubes are going to the wind chests that are controlling the shades. Okay, and is there anything that's way out of whack on this side that I might be able to touch up while we're here? All right, play that. Let me see if I can find it. Just one. Just the higher one. Is that the same rank? Ed? <coughs> Ed? All right, play that note. See if you can find it. somewhere close to the pitch of the pipe we have. See, I had to quit organ work because my ears aren't good anymore. I can't zero in on stuff like I used to. Here we go. I found it. Okay, Ed. Is that the one that's off? Okay. Which one is out of tune? Turn the strobe back on. I forgot my tuning. Play the one that's out of tune. I... Come on, Dad. Just 
the one note that's out of tune. Okay, now play the one that is in tune. Got two notes going. Play the good one. He's not following my directions. I want you to play the one that is good. Now play the bad one with it. Let's hear it. That 
play the note or an octave from it. All right, that's close enough. What else? Up here. That's okay. That it? Okay, stop. Now listen carefully. Play the single low one. See anybody else? Anything else? 
I didn't hear you. I'm not going to tune it with the rest of the organ. I'm just going to tune it with itself. Okay, good enough. Sounds good. We're getting down. Okay, we're in the great section now of the organ. And I'm looking for the light. I've been in this. I've been in this chamber before. Why don't I know where the light is? Where's the light for this chamber, Ed? Is it a wall? Here it is. Okay. All right. Are you recording now? I am. All right. As we get into the great chamber, I'd like to show you some of the pipes that are on the pedal. These are the big, deep bass pipes. Ed, could you step on the pedal, step on the pedal and play some of these low bass pipes? Okay, that's good. Do it one more time, Ed. Okay. All right. Okay. Follow me, Dan. Okay, where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing here, Dad? Okay. That's right. I bet he sold me four times already. I can't remember it. But he might have pronounced them different each four times, but this time he duplicated one. All right. These are the wind chests down here, huh? Yeah, these are the reservoirs. Okay, there are two reservoirs, Ed. This one looks like trouble right here. Yeah. Okay, put on the tremulant. Maybe not. He's been up here at Main Research already. He's, he's already done a bunch of repairs up here. Okay, take off the tremulant. It's not working. Okay, there are two separate wind chests. Is that what you wanted to know? All right. Okay, what's the, what do you want me to do while I'm here besides that? What did you say? That's all I think you said. Okay, anything way out of tune on this side? What was that? I'm not going to tune those pipes. Nobody can hear them anyway. That's it? What's that? I, I, why, why do I hear that? You got oh, dead notes over here, right? All right, okay. But nothing way out of tune, huh? No pipe way out? All right, okay, then. So, this is the great chamber. These are all where all the big heavy sounds come from in the organ. Over here is the chimes. Okay, and play something here with this on this division.
So there are four notes that don't play at all in this chamber. And the technician is coming Tuesday to make those repairs. So we're completed. So this is our organ crawl for today. Now let me show you a couple of things and then we're going to be going. Dan, I got it, so if you'll just wait All there right. and take the camera from me. Uh, these are the wind chests. These springs control the wind pressure. This is the wind coming in from the blower, and this is the wind that goes up to the chest. These are the chests that the pipes sit on, and inside of the chests are the valves that open and let air up into the pipes. This wind chest here is developing a little bit low on wind pressure, so we put weights. See the weights? Those weights push down on this, raising the wind pressure so that there is four inches of wind pressure in each of these chests throughout the organ. In these smaller church organs, all of the pipes will play on the same pressure. And remember, I showed you the swell shades. You want to operate the swell shades again, Ed? We'll show them how they work this in the great chamber. See how the shades close? To throttle off the sound, leaving the chamber into the congregation. So that's it for the organ chamber. So this is the case? Yeah. Without a camera? The camera is running. Oh, oh that, running. that thing is a red light? Oh, yeah. Hey, the red light is on the other side. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, I don't need the action. That's what I always start in the key, but I, I won't, I'll be in D when you get there. All right, go ahead. 